Dear student, welcome to the problem solving session on envelope with given two parameters. In our previous video, we find the envelope of a given family of curves for one parameter. Those who don't watch the videos, go to the playlist, watch both the videos on one parameter and come back here to learn about two parameter. In today's session, we are going to find the envelope of a given family of curves with two parameters. For the given problem it has alpha and beta are parameters and they are connected by pi of alpha comma beta equal to 0. The classical method what people do is they convert beta in terms of alpha and then substituting in this equation now the two parameter problem will be converted or reduced into one parameter and then they used to solve the problem in terms of one parameter but i am not going to do that it is more convenient i am going to do in a different way i am going to take the given question as equation one and then the connection between alpha and beta that is the parameters as equation two here i am just going to neglect or i don't bother about the x y just i will explain you in a simple way if y is a function of x let us take y equal to x square then differentiation of y with respect respect to x is 2x. Similarly, if you take y square equal to x cube, if I differentiate y with respect to x, then 2y dy by dx is equal to 3x square. The reason is we said y is a function of x. The same way, if it is envelope, I am not going to bother about x or y. I just forget about x, y. I think they are constant. Now we are going to play the game. We say beta is a function of alpha or alpha is the function of beta. And we are going to differentiate this two equation in terms of either alpha or beta. Now, suppose you are doing with respect to alpha, you will be getting db by d alpha. From this two equations, eliminating this and we can find the envelope for the given family of curves. Okay, let us go into the problem. Find the envelope of x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Very important, a and b are the parameters. And the parameters are related by the equation a plus b equal to c, where c is the constant. You should know this very clearly, students. c is a constant, only a and b are the parameters. So, I want to eliminate a and b alone from the given problem. c is just a constant. So, let us take the given equation as 1, x by a plus y by b equal to 1 and the constraint or the parameters related by a plus b equal to c as equation 2. Now, just think which equation is very easy for you. For me, the second equation looks like very easy. So, I will always start with the second equation. Now, we are going to consider b is a function of a. So, now x, y, t are constant. I am just going to differentiate the given equation with respect to a and b is a function of a. So, differentiate 2 with respect to a. Differentiation of a is 1. Differentiation of b is 1 and we will get db by dA. The right hand side is constant. So, it becomes 0. Now, immediately we get db by dA equal to minus 1. This is the key point in this problem. Now, let us come back to this equation 1. Do you remember students? 1 by x power n differentiation. I am keep on telling in many videos. Minus n by x power n plus 1. Now, differentiate 1 with respect to a. Even you can do with respect to b also. But everybody is doing in terms of a. Just I am doing the same. Now, x is constant. 1 by a differentiation is just now we see minus 1 by a square. Next, I am keeping y. And differentiation of 1 by b is minus 1 by b square into db by dA. The right hand side is 0. We know that db by dA is minus 1. So, minus x by a square minus y by b square minus 1 equal to 0. Minus x by a square plus y by b square is equal to 0. Therefore, minus x by a square is equal to minus y by b square. Minus minus get cancelled. We will be getting x by a square equal to y by b square. But my job is to eliminate a and b from the relation. So, to achieve this, we just recall our cool days formulas. 2 by 4. How to simplify this? 1 by 2. If I say 
3 by 6. That is also 1 by 2. So now, do you remember students in school days, whenever we have A by B is equal to C by D, then we have the relation A plus C divided by B plus D is also equal to this 2. Just for example, we take this 2 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 2. That is going to be my 3 by 6. So I am telling this using this simple idea we are going to crack the whole problem now let us take the relation we have x by a square is equal to y by b square and see this is the given data i want to simplify this given relation in terms of equation 1 and 2 so simply what i am going to do i am going to take x by a by a y by b divided by b now you see just now i said that example 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 when I add my numerator and denominator, we will be getting 3 by 6. The same thing we are going to do here. If you add your numerator and denominator such that wisely it should be related with equation 1 and 2. Now immediately what we can say from 1 and 2, I can say x by a square. Now I am writing in a proper way is equal to y by b square. Now x by a plus y by b is 1, a plus b is c. Now I get the relation in a very easy way. From this I can easily eliminate a and b. Now just take the relation x by a square equal to 1 by c. Similarly y by b square equal to 1 by c. I want to eliminate a. So x c equal to a square, y c equal to b square. Now a is equal to root x root c b is equal to root y root c now we are going to substitute a and b in either equation 1 or equation 2 whatever you like which is simple to you either you can substitute in 1 or you can substitute in 2 according to me 2 is very simple compared to 1 so i am going to substitute in 2 so from 2 we have a plus b equal to c substituting the values will be getting root x root c plus root y root c equal to c now root x plus root y into root c is equal to c root x plus root y into root c c can be rewritten as root c root c so now i can cancel this root c therefore root x plus root y is equal to root c is the envelope for the given problem x by a plus y by b equal to 1 with the condition a plus b equal to c see here we eliminated a and b which are the parameters for the given problem hence the problem next problem now we are going to see the next problem i am not going to work out this i am just going to give this problem as a practice problem for you you see the main equation is given as x by a plus y by b equal to 1 let us take this as equation 1 and now the parameters related by a square plus b square is equal to c square in the previous problem we have seen it is simply a plus b equal to c so as we shall find db by da from here it is very easy you can see minus a by b now differentiate this equation 1 and then substitute db by da and eliminating a and b will be getting the answer x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 is equal to c power 2 by 3 which is nothing but the equation of asteroid so now in the next video we are going to solve the generalized version of this problem we are going to consider a power n plus b power n is equal to c power n and we take this as equation 2 and we are going to get the final answer x power n by n plus 1 y power n by n plus 1 is equal to c power n by n plus 1 hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye